Hello, students, staff, family, and friends, and everyone connected to London Trader Academy. Welcome to my guide to life. Yes, the living metaphors. Before I begin, I would like to express gratitude for tuning your ears in if you're actually paying attention to the speech instead of only hearing me absentmindedly. You are appreciated. Now that that is out of the way, on to my little guide. Step one, when you learn how to ride a bike, get on the bike. Will you fall? Probably. Will you scrape your knees? You just might. Are you gonna be off balance? No. It's cool if it scares you, and it's cool if it takes you a while to build up courage to get in that stupid little bike that just seems like it's trying to kill you. And it's even cool to get on the bike and you decide to just sit there and say that's enough for today. No matter how slow you take this route, you're taking it, you're getting there. Progress is progress. As long as you keep up your pursuit, you'll be just fine. Learn how to ride the bike, because after you've got that under your belt, you can say, I can ride a bike. Step two, take care of the garden. Identifying litter and weeds and pests isn't always easy, I'm aware. You should know they're there when your flowers begin wilting. Don't deny the absence of the flowers using a sweet scent. Don't deny how wilted everything feels. Look at your little garden and genuinely consider everything. Are you doing everything for your garden right? Sure. Some things are already control, like your neighbor's cat keeps living about in the garden and harming your pretty little flowers. Do what can be done. Don't be cheap or lazy. This is your garden of new life. It may be easier when putting proper effort and care, but the consequences are unmistakably evident. Your garden doesn't smell so nice, so flowers are a little more dull than they're supposed to be, and it just hasn't been feeling good. Have you even noticed your wilting? That's okay because you can still save your flowers. Dying isn't dead. Don't let yourself think it's too late to change, because it is rarely too late for improvement. Water your flowers at the right times. Make sure they're getting proper sunlight and tend to them with care. Your flowers are important. Be delicate. Little tip, don't let anyone shame your garden either. Everyone has a unique little garden, and they're just happy about yours. Step three, success isn't guaranteed. The race you're running is a tough one. I bet your legs you feel tired and your lungs you feel like they're on fire. And every step you take gets you closer to your potential victory. But here comes another race that will be for the same goal you want. They get to the finish line before you. Just because they got the best rank doesn't mean you still can't shoot the stars though. So for now, settle for a second place in your little race. Maybe next time when you come back new and improved. In short, I'm telling you all to chase your passions and don't quit just because it got a little hard. Take care of yourself and know that you won't always win. Keep going anyways. The sky is the limit, so even if perfection is impossible. I challenge you to strive for your version of perfection. Emphasis on your version of perfection. Every year at LCA, more and more kids pull in and out. This year, it is our turn. Hope to go out with the bang, but it's fine if you don't. We will thrive regardless. Goodbye, LCA.